I am super excited to be starting a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. You guys already know what it is. Red Dead Redemption. One of my favorite games of all time. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. 
But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Bro, good old Armadillo. Oh, I remember this place well. They've got the best hookers in all the land. If I remember correctly, Armadillo Station, man. I'm so excited to play this game completely through and then do the DLC after. Like I said, guys, I personally think this was one of the best games ever made. I mean, obviously, that's my own opinion, but... There she is already. Look at her. Let bring that bitch out there real quick. Ow, ow, ow. Grab the titty. You must be John Mars. I am John Mars. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends. They're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Let's do it. Bro, I was a mean poker player in Red Dead Online, bro. Hey. Y'all don't want it. We're going to have to bring the online of Grand Theft Auto to the channel as well man thank you guys for all the support that we've been getting recently man if you guys are ready well, here, uh, let's mount for this the let's play daily be sure to drop a like on the video the more likes we get the more i know you guys are ready for it oh yeah yeah oh dude i still remember the buttons dude now we are playing we are playing on xbox one the graphics look a little better I'm not gonna lie I'm super excited look at the beautiful beautiful you know sun Fort Mercy you want to visit? let's go Fort Mercy it right. is buddy ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time strange place for a decent fella to want to visit if you don't mind Miss Van who said I was a decent fella <laughs> it's been abandoned for years now folks say it was built during the Mexican war what kinds of soldiers around back then why'd they leave well, I ain't entirely sure I I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. Bro, I'm, a, I'm an expert treasure so what hunter. What are you doing up at the fort? You already looking know for that. An old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but. Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Yeah, we're going to Fort Mercer, man. Now, if you guys never played this game, are you planning on sit back and enjoy, time dude? Hello, Mr. Marston. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she got speed, dude. You can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy. You ain't lying, dude. I told you. Not like Steve's Lander. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man. I told you the horse and armadillo are the real, are the real, real, real deal. <laughs> Dude, I don't think like, I don't think you guys realize. I bought this game like two months ago, knowing that sooner or yeah. later. So it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? It would be backwards compatible and Says finally. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking The day for a is guy. here, man. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. I still got that quick draw, too. Look at it. Yeah. Still got the pistol. Oh, -ho! fucking bitches up. Let me get you that right You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Dude, John Marston, man. The world's biggest badass. Damn coyotes, what a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. There she is, Fort Mercer. Slow up now. Listen, mister. Oh, yeah. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. We got to take it over ourselves. Ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. It was nice meeting you, buddy. <laughs> I'll see you at the titty bar later tonight. Uh, 
Ooh, man. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go in here and check it out, huh? Got the fastest draw in all the land. They call me Marston. John Marston. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Well, you're still alive, ain't you, bitch? Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Don't make me kill you, Bill. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch, and no more you. I'm about to kill you, Bill. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor kid. My man John got shot! He's gonna bleed out, bro. Dude, such a badass, dude. Takes a rifle close range. He's still breathing. They should have shot him in the head, bro. Oh, you're alive. Hey, girl. So it would seem. What's your name so, is? How do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Good old Bonnie. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. You look damn well the same, know. even on Xbox what One. What are you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just yeah. like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Let me help you out, Bonnie. If you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. 
You can Absolutely. earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I got the best shot in the whole land, yeah, lady. Never mind. You ain't know you gotta learn real quick. He caught me off edge. Should have had a drink at the bar before we went out there. Shit would have never happened. Let's go see Bonnie, dude. I gotta help Bonnie out, dude. The ranch, I think there's horseshoes. Or, or, yeah, there's horseshoes somewhere around here. I'm probably gonna play her kid. They ain't ready for that. Mr. Marston, back hey, in girl. the land of the living, I see. I am. I'm Figured moving pretty quick, too. I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Hey, girl. We gonna take one of these horses? Can I get the black one? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Gee up! Come on! Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Bonnie's ranch she got set up here. It's like our own little town, dude. She's got everything. Shoot some chickens. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Okay. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. You ain't lying, bro. That's what I was just thinking. Hello? Body shit's legit. My fault. Please excuse me. Yeah, you better be sorry, bitch. And Turn here's the and corral. You. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Might have to give you a second impression with my dick. That's the train station. <laughs> Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good nah, when it The railroad is better. legit, dude. It goes everywhere. Bonnie should be honored that the railroad actually yeah. comes through her ranch. Like, that's fucking huge. Underlay, underlay. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Oh, yeah. That's a nice looking barn. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. He got a vertical jump like I've never seen. Feisty little guy, are you? <laughs> well, are we going inside? Yeah, we are. You got any whiskey? What's up? How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? That's exactly what I was thinking, you, Bonnie. Man. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. You got room in your bed, Bonnie? What's up? She gonna get it. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Absolutely. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. So we got our pistol, and now we've got our rifle as well, man. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look now, around. Now, I remember that there were gold guns. I just can't remember if they were in single player or if it was, like, only in multiplayer. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I guess we'll have to learn over time, dude. I can't wait to jump in multiplayer, though. That's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm, I definitely go. wanna. Keep your eyes open. I 
and try Focus not to on get the yourself single player. shot again. Uh, we gonna have to Thank you, something. Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. You're welcome, baby. I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I got my eyes peeled. If I gotta shoot something, I will. Crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Got it. Whoa! Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the car. Better shoot rabbits than outlaws, I think. Oh, get you some rabbits! Ah! You can run, bitch, but you can't fucking hide. Damn right. We should check out the rest of the range. I got a mean shot. I didn't mean to run over your plants either. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. They got a little target area right there. Watch Daddy. Come on, boy. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Oh, sniper nasty! Scare the livestock. You think my gun shooting's gonna make them scared? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Come here, coyotes. Yeah! King Kong ain't got shit on me. Oh, Deadeye, bro. Dude. I forgot about Deadeye. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. We got those coyotes, though, Bonnie. Let's go. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, up, up. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. He d I'm telling didn't you. Really come into it, miss. Bill done You're got lucky. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> really? Let's go. <laughs> this horse is gonna make me mad, dude. There you go, buddy. Nice and easy. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Thanks, Bonnie. I appreciate you. 